When you think of making movies, you think of Hollywood. Big studios, big names, big bucks. But what if you're not in the big time? What if you live near Detroit, don't have a lot of money, but do have some great ideas for a movie? If you always cheer for the underdog, you're gonna love Renaissance Pictures of Ferndale, Michigan, and the three young men whose very first film won them a standing ovation at the Cannes Film Festival, a ringing endorsement from horror writer Stephen King, and which ironically has yet to find an American distributor. It's a success story that reads like a script for a movie. All it needs is a happy ending. First, our cast of characters. Bruce Campbell, 24, an aspiring actor with a realistic approach to finding work. Our route was if you can't audition for a feature film in town, then you make it. Rob Taffert, at 27, the old man of the group, with a keen business understanding of the obstacles they faced. We were just out to prove that we could make a film the first time and that it could make money. And from that point, we'd go on and make other, other pictures. And Sam Raimi, the 22-year-old writer-director who had the gall to believe they could actually pull this movie thing off. To think of the whole process from conception to sitting in a theater with a the popcorn and then seeing it bigger than life in front of you is really a great thrill. Now, our heroes didn't come by their confidence without earning it. Four years ago, they teamed up on a little effort they called the Happy Valley Kid. Not exactly a technical masterpiece, but it became something of a cult classic on the campus of Michigan State University. This guy's nuts. Ah! What's wrong with you? You probably guessed this was a low-budget film, $700 to be exact. But the important thing is that it made $5,600. In the business, that's known as a good track record. Anyone knows the worst sin to commit in showbiz is to lose money. That fact was the guiding light in choosing a topic for their first big project. We felt that the horror film had the best marketability. It had a sure market. There's always horror films playing in the drive-ins. So, that's what we decided to do because it was a sure shot, or the surest of shots for beginners. The three of us, when we got together, knew that we could make a movie. And it was convincing all the people who had money that, uh, that we could do it. So we took money that we had ourselves, working as busboys and cab drivers, and shot a short, a 30-minute short, which we ran out at the Punch and Judy Theater. And we used that really as an investment tool. We took it to Investor's House with our little projector, and we'd set it up. They'd have a dinner party, and we'd set it up afterwards and proceed to make them all sick with our little short horror film. So, But that, uh, that was really our best-selling tool. Now comes scene three, a word from our sponsors. The guys needed about a half million dollars, cheap by Hollywood standards, but a lot of money to Detroit investors less familiar with movie making. People like Detroit attorney Brian Manoogian were ultimately convinced by a very well-planned financial package with good tax benefits. And maybe they had a little touch of stardust in their eyes when they wrote out their checks. Oh, absolutely. I think that's part of the excitement of the whole, the whole project, that, that you can say, you know, when it's all done, gee, I was part of that project. Without me, maybe they couldn't have made the project. I so think you're a little bit of a mogul. Yeah, I think so. So now Renaissance Pictures had some money and a great script by Wonder Kid Ramey. 